If you're looking to buy coins, do be sure to check the link in the description for FIFA coins there. They're selling for £5 per 100k on the Xbox and £3 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JoshyA at checkout and you'll get your coins instantly. What's up lads, Joshua, and welcome back to another episode of 12 Days of Christmas. This is episode 11, and tomorrow will be the final episode. So let me know what you want to see down below in the final episode. It probably will be a pack opening, but we'll have to wait and see what packs are released at 12, because today's packs are, again, consumable packs. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's get straight into this team, and today we are going to be rocking with the oldest team, and that I, I, I can't remember the suggestion who it was, but somebody actually suggested this. I will go back and find it um, and put it on screen now. Um, and thank you for the suggestion. I think it's an absolutely fantastic team to do. And of course, it's, you know, the oldest team possible on FIFA. And uh, unfortunately, I'm having to do it on the concept squads part because most of these players aren't even on the market right now. Or, you know, they're just being price fixed for stupid prices, which I'm not going to pay. And obviously, I can obviously just do a concept squad around them and cost absolutely nothing. So, yeah, let's get straight into the team now. Uh, onto the goalkeeper. We are going to have a 45-year-old goalkeeper. He is the oldest player on all the team. And the amount of jokes on uh, on footed about this guy you know about his age and uh, about his rating because he's actually older than his rating he's, he's 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 45 years old and he's 43 rated that is just unseen in the fifa community normally um but yeah 45 year old goalkeeper to start off with not too bad now we're going to go into the center backs the first one's going to pop into this team is going to be francisco nogirel and uh, he is 38 years old and 55 pace don't look too bad then the next guy is actually also 38 years old and look at those stats they're like non-rare gold quality that's absolutely awesome for one from uh, to be still going at 38 years old and in the Liga BBVA so obviously uh, there's still a lot of competition in that league and another player that's still going in the Liga BBVA and it is going to be Manuel Pablo uh, Manuel Pablo, and he also is 38 years old uh, we've got a lot of 38 year olds in this team and now onto the left back we're going to have Lino um, and he's just got like all 60s and 70s stats and he is 37 years old and yeah there's not really much to say about him i used to use him a lot when he was like uh, in like fifa 12 i think it was or fifa 13 i used to use this guy a lot in uh, hybrids to link up with um fet Facetus, but he's kind of shit now and uh, moving on to the next player is going to be paul tisdale now this guy's name and stats let's just look at him 30s and 40s all across the board probably the shittest player on all the team you will ever use and uh, he is also 41 years old an, an incredible staggering amount uh, to still be playing at that age. Uh, next player is going to be Blanco, like a Mexican legend across all um, across of all of Mexico. Apparently, uh, he's 41 years old and he's even got himself an inform card. But this is the inform card. But obviously, because it's in concept squads, you cannot see it, unfortunately. But five star weak foot, four star skillers looks like a pretty decent card. Other than the 28 pace, obviously, uh, his stats are absolutely pretty sick for a silver. We're going to move on to the next player, and his name is Marty, and he is. 39 years old um, once again you know uh, I'm pretty sure we're seeing a recurring theme of pace and I'm pretty sure you understand that if you know 40 years old I'm pretty sure your pace is going to be pretty low um, but moving on to the right wing now uh, and we're gonna have Ainsworth for some reason I've actually never heard of this guy but he's 41 years old he's in the uh, Football League 2 and he plays for Wickham so we've actually got two Wickham players in this team and that is uh, Ainsworth and of course the goalkeeper of Richardson and for some reason I've never heard of Ainsworth I, I probably feel like I have seen him in a few games but I just it just doesn't ring a bell of his name uh, but on to the next player is going to be Bergstrom and he is 40 years old and he is getting on a bit but his stats are actually, aren't actually that bad for a you know a silver who with, uh, with uh, you know a silver f uh, with, with 40 years of age on him um, but now onto the striker that will complete this team. I can't believe there's a striker above 40 years old, and he is 40 years old as a striker. I don't get, I don't imagine how you can be beaten by a 40 year, a 40 year old striker. Um, you know, I don't, I, I don't think you have to be that good to be honest to beat a 40 year old striker. But apparently, this guy is still going well in the Tipperligan, if that's how you pronounce it, Tipperligan. I'm not too sure. Six foot two tall, um, and not the best of stats. Um, but anyway, he's still going on at his age. And uh, seems to be still playing FIFA, so not bad at all. 
But anyways, guys, that has been the team. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed another episode of 12 Days of Christmas. Thank you guys for all the support over the series so far. Tomorrow will be the finale of 12 Days of Christmas. Then I'll be getting back to regular uploading uh, of, you know, like, squad building and maybe even starting a new series, I feel like. If you've got any, you know, ideas for a new series that I should do, leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can do that for, to, uh, you know, for obviously next week after Christmas. Hopefully, you're all having a fantastic Christmas. I think you're all off of the, you know, for a bit of uh, time now, for like a week and a half or two weeks for most of you guys so enjoy your time off stay safe and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace